Online shopping's great. It's quick, easy, and you can do it sitting at home in your pants. But there are downsides, especially if something goes wrong. It's not as simple as returning to the shop and giving the manager an earful like one of those Karens you've seen on your socials. And with non-existent customer services, expensive phone lines, if any, and chatbots, it can sometimes be harder to get what you're owed. Luckily, we've got the lowdown on your consumer rights and how to protect yourself from dodgy purchases. If you buy something that doesn't work, is poor quality, or isn't as described, you're entitled to a refund. Thanks to the Consumer Rights Act of 2015, you can expect a full refund within 30 days for physical purchases, a digital product retailer to fix a problem within 30 days before a refund, the replacement or repair of a faulty product within six months, or if that doesn't fix the issue, a refund. A refund, repair or replacement within six years if you can prove there was a fault at the point of purchase. Your rights vary based on who's selling. If you buy from a professional retailer, the Consumer Rights Act applies. If you buy directly from individuals on platforms like Facebook Marketplace, it can be harder to press a claim. Some selling platforms like Amazon and eBay have resolution systems, but getting what you're owed can still be a battle. If a retailer refuses to cooperate and you've spent more than £100 using a credit card, Section 75 of the Consumer Credit Act can help. This clause means you can apply to your credit card provider to help you recover your losses. Some credit card providers like Visa, MasterCard and American Express have a double protection system known as chargeback. You can use this when items arrive damaged, not as described, don't arrive, or the retailer's gone out of business to help you recover your money. Chargeback covers debit and credit card transactions under £100, which aren't protected by Section 75. Remember, the sooner you report your issues with online goods, the more rights you have. Pressed the wrong button and accidentally ordered something you didn't want? Under the Consumer Contracts Regulations, you must be given information on how to cancel the order and access to a cancellation form. Retailers must make sure this process is straightforward. Any dispatched products you should aim to return within 14 days. Some purchases come with a 14-day cooling-off period. Check the terms and conditions to see if this applies to you. To use the cooling-off period and cancel the order, contact the retailer directly. Retailers should return any deposit as part of the cancellation, but do be aware, if the service already started in the cooling-off period, the retailer is allowed to cover necessary costs. Everyone needs to be careful shopping online as fraud and phishing scams are common. To avoid getting into trouble, make sure you only shop using trusted sites. Check whether the site has a clear returns policy and make sure payment takes place on an encrypted page. Look for the padlock icon in the browser. Before you buy anything, reread the product description. If the retailer tells you about a fault and you buy anyway, you'll find it harder to claim your money back later on. Always make sure to read website reviews across different sites. Customers who've been messed around will be more than happy to dob in dodgy retailers, and so should you. And if something seems suspicious or too good to be true, it probably is. Listen to your instincts, and you'll be shopping safe from now on.